Season 4 Nonverbal Communication in Business Body language is a vital part of interpersonal communication. In fact, a very large part of having good communication skills has to do with one's body language, and this type of communication is much more powerful and effective than any word that can be said. This important type of communication is one of the first things people will notice when they meet you. Believe it or not, being able to read body language well can help get you further in life, whether it be for business or personal reasons. Have you ever taken a moment to think about what you are saying with your body language or how you are coming across to others? If you haven't, then now is the time. Certain body gestures can reveal a great deal about an individual. For that reason, it is imperative to learn how to spot some of the best and worst body gestures, as well as what the different gestures imply. This will not only help you to read other people, but you will be more aware of how your body language is being portrayed to others. This form of communication will not only help you to be more aware of how you are presenting yourself to others, but you will also be able to read other people well. This skill will allow you to get further along in all aspects of life, because it will lead to much better communication and interaction with others. Best Body Gestures in Business Direct Eye Contact One of the most important body gestures to remember is to make direct eye contact. This body gesture shows that you are listening and are interested in what is being said. If you are in a large group, be sure to make eye contact with everyone, and don't focus on only one person. Also, don't break eye contact too soon, because this could imply that you are not trustworthy. Be interested and listen. People like to talk, so always be sure that you are listening and look interested in what the other person is saying. If you are genuinely interested in what other people have to say, then that is going to show. Sit up straight. Not only is good posture advantageous for your health, but at the same time it also exudes confidence. It is essential to sit up straight and not to hold your head down. If you lean forward, you could come off as aggressive to others. But on the other hand, if you lean back, you could come off as lazy or arrogant. So keep your head up and shoulders back at all time, and be aware of your posture when both sitting and standing. Smile and be confident. A positive outlook will get you far in life. Even if you don't feel confident, it is important to portray it. After all, the more positive your outlook is on certain situations, the more confident you will become. For one, being confident will help other people to be more comfortable around you. Stop the negative thinking now, because that won't help anything. And this type of toxic behavior will work against you. Instead, remember to focus on the positive things only, and be confident in what you are doing. Always make sure that you are smiling and not frowning, and make it a point to be both confident and friendly, but at the same time be sure that your smile is not forced. Facial Expressions Your facial expressions will say a lot about you, and people will be watching for your reaction when it comes to things such as business negotiations or other types of meetings. One of the most important things to remember is to smile naturally, keep your chin up, and keep your eyes level. This will send a message of positivity and trustworthiness. Being able to control your facial expressions will help you immensely, and it is something that you should spend some time in thinking about it. Look like you are listening. In this day and age, people are constantly connected to their cell phones 24-7. While it is wonderful that technology has evolved so much, it also comes with many downsides. It is essential to put down the phone and actually listen to what people are saying. This will also help increase participation if you are speaking with a group of people. Being attentive will imply that you care about what people have to say, and it says a lot about your personality. Other people want to do business with people who genuinely show interest and are engaged. Not when listening to someone speak. Nodding every once in a while when someone is speaking will imply that you are not only listening but are actually interested in what others are saying. A nod will help get the message across that you agree with what the other person is saying, as well as showing encouragement. Relax your body. People are going to sense if you're not at ease in certain situations, especially in some type of meeting. The first thing to try is to relax your shoulders and take some deep breaths. 
since a lot of people hold a lot of their tension in the shoulders and neck area. Don't be afraid to move your shoulders and neck a little in order to loosen up a bit. In addition, being able to control breathing actually has a lot to do with good body language because it will help you be more relaxed. This will lead to more confidence which will be passed along to the people involved. As discussed above, it is a very important part of learning and maintaining good communication skills. Mirror the other person's behavior. This is an important behavior to keep in mind, and it is something that will need to be both practiced and observed over time. If you are unaware of this technique, the act of mirroring is to allow your body to reflect the other person's behavior. This is a wonderful way to build a good rapport with other people because it reflects both interest and enthusiasm in what is being said. It is important that the act of mirroring is done subtly, as it is definitely an art to be learned. This is a proven method that has been researched and found to be very effective in many different types of social and business settings. Keep your head up. Don't look down because it will imply to other people that you are not paying attention and you don't want to hear what others have to say. Keeping your head down can imply many things such as boredom or disagreement in what is being discussed. So it is important to keep your head up at all times when either speaking or being spoken to.